Hi, welcome to Retro Eric. Today I will show you how my config sys and auto exec bat are configured on my Euro PC. My Euro PC is an 8088 running at 9.54 MHz. It has only 412 kilobytes of memory. I must therefore be careful of what I put in my config sys and auto exec bat. On the other hand, the machine has a very fast XT IDE compact flash card, which gives us an advantage. First, my config sys. Switches slash F removes the two second delay that occurs when the starting MS DOS message is displayed on the screen. This only applies for DOS versions 6 and above. Break on lets you use Ctrl C to stop running programs more often. Files equals 20 specifies the number of files that can be opened at the same time. Default is 8. Stacks 9.256. I have it at 9.256 because some Apogee games demands it. Default for an IBM PC XT is 0.0. .0. Stacks is used to handle hardware interrupts. If you get stack overflow or exception error 12 messages, increase the number or size of the stacks. Stacks can in most cases be turned off by using the parameter 0.0. .0. You would then gain about 3 kilobytes of memory. FCBS equals 1.0. This disables support for file control blocks. Some programs needs file control blocks to be able to have more than one file open. The default setting is 4.0. Buffers equals 3.0. The default for a machine with 512 kilobyte of RAM is 15.0. The first parameter tells DOS to set the number of disk buffers. The second parameter is how many numbers or of disk buffers to read ahead. Each buffer is 512 bytes. A setting of 15.2 will use a total of 8.7 kilobytes. The reason why I have it so low is the compact flash card I am using for hard drive. I tested with different buffer settings and tried to load games and programs to see if any of the settings improved the speed. Nothing did. As you can see from uh, this Check It speed test, the compact flash disk is fast. Especially the seek time is impressive with its 1.4 milliseconds compared to a standard XT hard drive of about 85 milliseconds. Last drive equals C. Default is E. Setting this to your last available drive will gain a few bytes of memory. Country sets the country-specific conventions for displaying times, dates, and currency. Without this line, my directory listings would be showing dates with the month first and not the day of the month as we are used to in Norway. PalmZip is a driver that lets you use a parallel port zip drive on an 8088 machine or higher. I only remove the remarks when the driver is needed. I do this to improve boot time. I prefer using 4DOS instead of command.com. On older machines with slow CPUs and limited memory, I prefer using 4DOS version 402. It takes up less conventional memory than later versions do. ANSI.com is an ANSI.sys replacement that uses half of the memory and is faster. ANSI is needed for several programs to change display graphics, cursor movement, and reassigning keys on the keyboard. Seno13.com is a small program that speeds up certain screen writes. Check it reports that my video speed is 847 characters per second. When running Seno, I get 1982 characters per second. When working in DOS, you can really see that directory listings are faster. Set color dear sets the colors of files and directories when using 4DOS. Prompt $p $g sets the prompt to show the current
current drive and path and the greater than sign. Keep no sets the keyboard to be Norwegian. CT mouse is only loaded when using a mouse. Uh, CT mouse or cute mouse is the smallest and most compatible mouse driver I have found. A few comments about the hard drive. Had I used an ordinary hard drive, I would for sure use some of the memory on buffer, maybe 30 or more. I would also use fast open to improve disk speed. Fast open tracks your most used files. If set to 10, it will track the location of 10 files. This will greatly improve access time. Each file it tracks uses 48 bytes of memory. Fast open only works on hard drives, must not be used when defragging, and do not use when running in those shells. I hope you liked this video, and if you did, please subscribe to my channels. And um, if you have any comments to uh, my uh, configuration files, please tell me in the comments below.